have reached rest grace with rwgresearch.com. Open dash source dash energy. What's up, everybody? This is just a little update. The Duet Wi Fi CNC custom built, custom programmed thingamabob. So, I've been working on this project for cutting circuit boards. And I temporarily have everything set up, so I wanted to show you sort of what's going on. So I got this uh, new power supply. This is a 90 amp, 12 volt output power supply. Um, I got some videos maybe coming up on that. I need to try to reprogram this. You can actually program these, but I'm not sure if I can. Anyway, do it Wi-Fi here. Uh, inverters for 24 volts. That's for the motors that are on here, the stepper driver motors. Uh, the touch panel here, the custom built CNC, uh, the uh, controller for that is here. Um, all this information is found in another space on my YouTube channel and website. Uh, so this is a NOR gate. It's a 74F02. Let's see if I can get it. There you go. So I just temporarily soldered it up for a single channel 3.3 volt to 5 volt converter. Um, I will seal this up nicely, but I wanted to make a video right now of what's going on. Uh, and this is all temporarily, <clears throat> again, hanging just so I can test this thing out and we'll mount it on here and, and work it up. But basically, I made up some macros. These are M280 commands and uh, I can do whatever I want. So I'm going to show you a ramp test which just runs through uh, different speeds all the way up to maximum and then stops it when it's done. So here we go. Okay, so that's uh, just stepping up through a couple different speeds, just so you can see that it does work. I can set it to uh, a certain speed that I want it to run at. I put macros in here just for that purpose. Uh -huh. So there you go. Uh, now we can finish actually wiring this uh, correctly. Um, I still haven't decided yet. Basically, I just have a ground and 3.3 volt signal that comes... Uh, oh, by the way, everything is internally wired at the moment. So all the wires going up to the top are actually internal. Everything is connected via the original wires that I put in the rails just to test out the uh, current capability of these wires and stuff like that. They're still ice cold. That's a good sign. It doesn't really pull much power, obviously, when it's just sitting there, um, not cutting anything. So we'll have to cut some stuff. Um, but what I was telling you was that right now I have the just single 3.3 volt and ground wires, which come down, come out, and go into the expansion port. So I have it plugged into heater 6, which is pin uh, 23, I think, uh, and then ground here on pin 2, I believe. Um, so anyway, just uh, j this is just a, you know, like I said, just a short update showing you that it works. Um, so I haven't decided yet what exactly I want to do as far as this chip because this chip will drive four different signals, and I actually have plans to use four different signals. Um, it's just a, like I said, a NOR gate which is just five volt, and the five volt is actually being powered currently by this controller. So I'm feeding it 12 volt through this heavy duty line here and then it is actually feeding 5 volts to the IC chip. And then the 3.3 in ground, the ground is just tied back to it so it's at a reference point of ground, of course. But, um, but yeah, that's just uh, the 3.3 going into there and voila, it works just fine. Um, let me show you a schematic. So this is, uh, this is what it is at the moment. Simple, simple driver test circuit. Now when I'm done, I'll have that IC configured underneath the bed on its own PCB breakout board that I plan on making. But for the moment, um, 
that's it. The command is m280, um, and then the p parameter number is the actual heater channel, which is six, and then the um, last bit is the uh, milliseconds. So I can actually type it in here. So m280. Uh, and then a P6, which is the, oops, which is the um, heater channel. And then S50 is the lowest speed. And then if I want to stop it, I just bring it back down to about 30 seems to shut it off. So it's as simple as that, and it does work. So there you go. A little bit of time, a little bit of effort. Now I can cut some printed circuit boards. I got lots of them. All right. I think I'll just make this an update video to show you where I'm at. Uh, yep, that's it. Peace out. Rock on. See ya.